Here at MCHS, we have built a winning team. I'd like to tell you about another local winning team. Family owned and operated bluegrass restoration and construction. They specialize in roofing, general construction, and home maintenance services. Give them a call at 859-353-1133. And welcome back to the Bluegrass Restoration and Construction Weather Center. Of course, today was uh, much quieter, not as unsettled as it was late yesterday and into the overnight hours. Some sunshine, a little bit on the breezy side in the wake of that front of boundary. Working off to the east, uh, we may see a few isolated sprinkles move in again as we head into the northern part of the Commonwealth as we head into the evening. But again, most of us will stay dry. There they go through the evening clearing out as we head into early Friday morning and some sunshine into Friday afternoon. Uh, looking at our overnight lows, though, or at least uh, for the evening, will be at 60 at 6 p.m. and then falling into the 40s as we get closer to midnight. So a little bit on the clear and cool side this evening, but sunny and breezy heading into our Friday. There is a little bit of an elevated fire weather concern uh, as we head into the western part of the state and then some showers return for this upcoming weekend. So Friday, a little bit on the cooler, breezier side, 68 degrees, 71 on Saturday. Some late day showers and storms lingering into Sunday. Sunday, we're back down to 68 and then even cooler into early next week on the back side of that secondary front. Now temperatures tomorrow will be dropping down into the upper 30s and lower 40s. Uh, here's how tomorrow shakes out in Richmond. We'll be into the lower 50s by 10 a.m. and into the mid and upper 60s by the afternoon with that daytime high again running just a little bit below the average uh, for this time of the year. Saturday a little bit nicer again a little warmer and closer to average with some ice setted showers and thunderstorms developing late. But how about this the extended temperature I'll look as we head into the 18th and the 22nd. And it looks like we'll be chilling down across much of the Ohio Valley and also uh, staying pretty dry at that time. So we do see a little bit of a warm up, a little bit of an elevated uh, dew point this weekend with some showers and storms. But Grendel and we will see temps fall quite a bit as we head into next week.